Yo, Ringo. You're going to stop the fucking exit, please. Stop it, man. I would fight. Feed the homeless. Ring of vision on a mission. Yo, come get the suit, bro. In feed the homeless Ringo Vijan on a mission I can't still pull up my seat, I don't know why I'm doing it I don't know why I'm doing it, I love the best Love a 9 to 5, him never feel it Love a peep, him just love this shit Him just love this shit Ringo could have a 9 to 5, him never feel it Love a peep, him just love this shit in the middle of the Yeah, so basically, yeah, big up everybody, yeah. Um, stay tuned this episode today. A good vibe, you understand? 24 hour kitchen. We was out all day today from Surrey Street Market. We fed the community people, yeah, and this is what's happening. We actually fed the people while there's a riot. I'm, I, I, I'm, Yes, everybody, welcome to 24 Hour Kitchen and Ringo Vision. So we're in week nine, everyone. So what's actually happening, we've been doing this for two months now. We're actually in week nine, giving back to the local community and giving back to the homeless. So what we've got here is a whole range of ingredients, everybody. And our aim today is to feed between 75 people and 100 people cups of soup, you understand, in the community of Creighton. So our good vibes, big up yourself. Stay tuned on the program, people, yeah? And we're gonna have a very good vibe today cooking some vegetable what? Soup. Vegetable soup! Ringo Vision Ringo Vision, yeah Ringo got the vision, yeah Ringo Vision Cause when you're cooking with Ringo, you know how to tingle When you're cooking with Ringo, you know how to tingle This is this is the this is the largest this is this is the largest fruit in the world and the most expensive fruit in the world as well. It's heavy. What's it called? It's called a jackfruit. Okay. Joseph's got them here. This one smells really right. Joseph, where did jackfruit come from? From Malaysia. So this one there come from Malaysia, people. Yeah. Pop is you know about jackfruit. You see the seed of the jackfruit? Hey, friend. Guess what? Let's get some jackfruit seed, yeah? Yeah. Put it in the soup today. Alright then. Bang it. Let's do that. Hello, princess. Come on, come on. Yes, people, so everyone's talking about Creighton. Everyone's talking about the riots. Everybody's talking about what has happened last week, but... I just want to say that I was there and I've been in the local community for the last 10 weeks giving away, feeding the homeless, you understand people, yeah? Giving back and the vibration that I get from Creighton community is that it is a very, very, very trying community and hard working community also because you see all the individuals, all the multicultures from different walks of life going about their ways as in this is an early morning, it's so peaceful, it's peaceful. So this is the same spot where there was loads of people walking up and down, marching and saying that, well, we need to get out of crowd and there's gonna be some form of protest or some form of riots. Anyway, we was there cooking in all of this. But what I wanna say is, is that this community is such a multicultural community. It's very hard for any form of racism or anything like that to just birth and just live and just even have a moment to just survive for even a minute to even an hour, especially in a, in a, in a congregated crowd of people, you understand? So people that um, that are thinking what is creating and is creating a good place, far would come down to creating, you understand people, yeah? All of these communities all around the place, they only turn bad because, we, because of the stereotype message that is sent and pushed across through major media streams and we, turn our backs on our community so all i'm saying to you guys yeah don't turn your back on your community look out for your community still put in the work if you see things out of place 
try to put them in place, try to help. You understand people, that was, that's what it's all about. Be a community leader inside of your community amongst others and also with others. Look, I've got my pulley right here right now. I'm heading down to the market to go and get ingredients to go and cook. So remember, Croydon is a decent place. You understand people, yeah? I've been here for 10 weeks feeding the homeless and I've been able to walk around the whole town, you understand, and see different, different characteristics. And out of everything that I've analyzed, are good people there. Yes, there's a lot of broken people here. Yes, there's a few homeless people here, but it's nothing that cannot be mended people, yeah? One love, big up yourself. I am in Bovision, yeah? Just look at the clippings and the videos um, that I'm showing you from me cooking down to the whole transformation and this is all in one day people yeah so that whole transformation of that whole march and people gathering together and whatnot today is a normal peaceful day look at that our good vibes what it is when you have a community yeah and you have no support in your community from all the major businesses all the major players, big organizations, some own two, three shops within the same local community, but these same individuals that have big piles of groceries and stocks day in, day out, these communities, these local businesses, they do nothing to prevent anything that is out of place with inside their community. They come to work on a day-to-day -day basis and what do they do? They focus on collecting every single penny out of the locals' pockets, yeah? And and applying the pressure said way. You understand people, yeah? So who is here supporting the local community? If the local community has been here buying, let's say for instance, from that shop there for 10 years, but one day you don't have a money and something goes wrong, who do you turn to? Where do you get your help from? And this is where things start to go wrong. Because you can't say that people that are living homeless on the streets, they've always been living homeless on the streets. These people lived in homes. These people got stories. Just be mindful of where some of the problems come from. We see people homeless, we see people on the streets, but sometimes some of the problems come from the major people, them that are running businesses in our community because they've been taking, 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 and they're not budging with their locals. Even if a local comes and say, oh, I'm stressed and you know, nothing, no, go on, they're not getting a bligh. You understand people, yeah? The businesses need to start blighing the locals and then we start to see some changes, our good vibes. There's businesses out here that got sleeping bags, all these type of things that can support the, the homeless, but do they do it? So that's, that's where we're at people, yeah? Our good vibes. Yo, come get the soup, bro. Why kill it? A soup while we're in this. You get me? Love for that boy, man. He's been doing is bringing people together. Come on, that is it. Bingo's been doing, bro. Yeah. And he's taught me that as my as one of my elders in my community, he's told me that Ben, I oh, love you, I love you, peace, we are That is it. Yeah, this is South London, this South London, this that, this that. I'm showing them unity. They're showing them unity. This touches my heart a lot. Wait, good day, guys. Love. Yeah. So basically, yeah, big up everybody. Yeah, um, for staying tuned with this episode today. A good vibe, you understand? 24 hour kitchen. We was out all day today from Surrey Street Market. We fed the community people here, yeah, and this is what's happening. We actually fed the people while there's a riot, a, 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 a march. You understand? We, we, we was in the midst of it. You understand? No what, we stood out there 
on the ground and we've done our we've done the mission big up the people them man big up the people them the man. whole community of Friday Sam they only and charged us people can, I say, yeah. can I say something yeah. they only charged us so they could get to this part of the they said they could fuck off and go home we was in the way of them getting to the vans to get home and that you get me so they charged us yeah I made us scared and that so they could get to the vans and fuck off and go home watch the movie yeah. what's the movie watch the movie What's the movie? What's the movie? I mean, it makes sense. We're not done. It's not rocket science. Guys, the troll now. The troll was worse. <laughs>